This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Welcome fish lovers to Sykes Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today we're going to start working on the 50 gallon Anubias tank, the Dragon Popper's old tank. And we're going to do some changes to it before we move the guppies to there. So this video is breeding, breeding guppies again, part one. So, enjoy! So now we have this aquarium. I actually had another piece of driftwood over there. With some nice anubias and stuff. Oh, and the betta lives in here because I needed other 20 gallon to quarantine the rainbow fish. So it's living in here. The old guy crown tail not a special crown tail or anything just a regular crown tail I like him had him for a long time okay so my plan with this is uh, this is clay based substrate so I'm not gonna take it out because it's a lot of good iron in it and I wanted to try red and red against green against that white light gray color in the background really looks good in my opinion but we're gonna breed my guppies in here the black guppies or black blue red mix still I love them but we're gonna keep them in here and then we need to do something because I want something to stabilize the pH and make the water just a little bit harder you know what I usually use crushed coral or fine crushed coral coral sand so we're gonna put that in this aquarium but first let's unbox the sand so let's see what is in this order this is what I got when I got store credit for that Oh, maybe I didn't tell you. Maybe that's in another video. My Eheim. This is nice knife. My Eheim. Air pump broke down. First Eheim product ever to break down and took less than five months. So, of course, they were pretty stubborn. I know Aquarium Co-op has talked about it, <laughs> it was interesting to see something from Eheim breaking down. The place, this place, that always give me money quick and give me replacement products like that because I'm a good customer. Suddenly they asked me to send in the pump and I had to wait five weeks for Eheim to give them the results of their testing if it was my fault if I broke it down so <laughs> I understand why Corey at Aquarium Co-op started to get tired of Ehi because he needs to be out of um, tell the customer I can't give you anything before Ehi tells it's okay and it seems like an excuse and bad customer service so it's the first time from this company ever so I talked to the guy and I said this is Ehi right and he was like yeah because they build so good products, they believe none of them will ever break down, so they don't trust anybody. Enough out of that, but if you got an Eheim product, save the receipt and don't get pissed at your store because it's Eheim, it's not the store. This! This, that was like two years ago I bought it, so, and this will last me two years. I don't use a lot of it. I'm gonna use it some and hang them back on the rainbows. And of course, I don't really need it, but this was like $8, and I had $8 to get to free shipping. So instead of paying $5 for shipping, I could pay $8 to get something and free shipping. You guys do that too? I always do that. But this is what we want. What? 
This is actually a new kind of. This is a new kind of crushed coral. I didn't use. I haven't used this before. It's a lot bigger grains. Uh, I think it will look nice. Not something different. This was a lot more expensive, but the other one I usually buy was they were out. And like I said, I had store credit. Not gonna do this for a long time, but I bought nine liters apparently. I don't know why they didn't put the weight. But this is gonna be enough. The prickles are hiding, but I fed them some of that wipe out chips and they were munching out but I scared them into the caves now when I walked past the aquarium but I fell in love with the, these guppies I mean I ordered them and I liked them immediately but they have been throwing all kinds of different colors but they all seem to be black black and red black and deep blue and black and uh, light blue and that is pretty much everything I want in a guppy so maybe I should even they were more expensive than your mixed fancy guppies because I think you're supposed to keep that line can you see that male one like that or even a, it's three different kinds of male see this one if they go up close to the glass, the lights aren't at them. Wait a second, I can adjust the reflector. There you go. Okay, focus. So, you see, they look amazing. At least I think so. And the females are dark, which means they will keep getting darker. Darker and darker if I take out light colored ones that one did you see that one I think that was the original color that I bought but I'm not sure I like that one better than these red and black and blue ones so I don't know maybe I separate them and make two or that one ah I love them so much I actually bought them to have free food for the dragon puffer. It sounds weird because I love fish so much, but I think if I get rid of that puffer, 99% somebody's gonna kill it. Because they're gonna buy it because it looks cool, and then you're gonna get, then it's gonna be a guy that's never been in the hobby before, and he's gonna try to feed him pellets. Or don't have money enough to give him one live fish a week or he does he totally does it and goes to the store and buys a fish a week that's 52 chances a year to give my puffer some deadly virus or parasite so you mean I want to be the respons responsible here and keep my puffer but I have a plan for that for that one I have a big plan for the puffer as well I'm gonna show you that in another video but this is the breeding for profit video so I'm going to take all these guppies and add them to that 55 gallon tank. Because I don't like this scape either. It doesn't look terrible, but if we look closely, pretty much all this thick Anubias has a lot of black beard algae, hole in the leaves. I mean, you can save some, you can take them out and trim them off, but when you have 90% ugly leaves I usually throw them away or not throw them away I give them to my giant ram's horns and the plants are full of vitamins and then I give the ram's horns to my fahaka so nothing is wasted never waste anything in a fish room rule number one I think I have one crooked one yep I haven't seen him. So the crooked one is the one that's going to go to the dragon puffer. See what I mean? If I'm going to start breeding guppies, 
in a big aquarium then I can afford to do that okay